Peyton James, we made it. I've truly prayed for this day for so long, and ever since I met you, I imagine this day being spent with you. Peyton, you are everything I've ever wanted in a husband. You are patient, kind, loving, selfless, supportive, God-fearing, encouraging. I'm proud of you and everything you do and admire you in so many ways. You are my best friend. Grace, let me just start out by saying how beautiful you look right now. I can only imagine how amazing you look. There is no other person on this planet that I would want to marry and spend the rest of my life with. You push me to be a better man, push me to grow in my faith day in and day out, and push me to lead you the best that I can. I've truly seen God use Peyton to challenge, to encourage, to grow Grace in her walk with Christ. What more could a best friend want? I knew the second you started fishing over here again, it wasn't to catch fish. It was to catch Grace's eye from our living room. And now we're having a wedding on the same shoreline. I watched them begin their relationship. I'm excited to watch you and Peyton's marriage flourish throughout the rest of your life. I'm finally able to say I have an older brother. I have no doubt in my mind that life with you is going to be nothing short of amazing. My love for you is greater than anything I've ever felt, and it will only grow from the moment we say our vows. When I proposed to you, I gave you four words. Will you marry me? Grace, welcome to the Harrell family. I guess this finally proves that you're not using Peyton just to get to me. <laughs> I really can't think of someone I'd rather Grace end up with than Peyton. Grace will always be your best catch, and you can come fishing anytime you want. I've watched you be an awesome brother, son, and friend through the years. Now I get to watch you be an amazing husband. I'm so thankful for the gift that you've given me in being my big sister. Ultimately, your marriage is about Jesus more than it's about each other. To Him be the glory in your lives and in your marriage. I love you both more than you know, so raise a glass to the heralds. If you told me years ago when you were in middle school that this might happen, I might have said that that was a pretty good chance. You met 10 years ago in the student ministry at Quell Springs Baptist Church. Your first date, May 12, 2020, you shared a mill at Broadway 10. Peyton knew long before that day that he loved her. And Grace, I believe your response was, really? And then quickly told Peyton that she loved him. When I started thinking about what to say tonight, I thought about all the time during Grace's childhood that I would look at her and say, one day she's gonna be married and gone. Amazing. I love you. I love you too. Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks. So do you. <laughs> My first so and good. last first look. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like your bow tie. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Took me four tries. Nice. <laughs> My friendship with Grace is one of my most cherished and we've gotten to walk through so much life together. I feel lucky to stand here today and call her one of my best friends. Everyone keeps on saying it had to be Peyton, it had to be Peyton, and I can't help but say the same thing. When you came back into our lives, I knew you were going to be in our family for good. Peyton, you were the best brother I could have ever imagined. You've been through ups and downs in your life, and have shown me how to persevere through those challenges. He called me and asked to go on a date. I had to go to his house. He did not pick me up. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Do you think he'll cry? I hope so. <laughs>